tell me. It's C5, page 7, Broming. And then C5, H8, oxygen. And C5, H9, nitrogen. Okay. So, what did you guys find out about a halogen? What does a halogen do? It adds a hydrogen. It adds a hydrogen. Yeah. yeah. It adds a hydrogen to what? So the H7. So H7. whenever you see a halogen on your molecule, what you are going to do is imagine this halogen is a hydrogen. A hydrogen. Yeah. And what is that going to do to this overall number? Eight. It's going to increase it by one. So this is supposed to look like C5. H8. Mm -hmm. Of course. Uh, let's see how we came up with this addition of this hydrogen. Let's say what you have is this. CH4 is a regular alkane, is it not? Mm -hmm. Okay. And let's say that what you have is CH3Br. Now that doesn't have any index of hydrogen efficiency, yes? But what has happened to the number of hydrogens from the alkane compared to this? This is still a single bond to this, yes, yes. or no? Yes. So this looks like this. So what it did is it replaced one of the hydrogens mm -hmm. with a Br. Mm -hmm. Since it's monovalent, monovalent means it makes one bond. Because it is monovalent, it will take the place of a hydrogen. So all you do is, you add a one hydrogen if you see a halogen. If you have two halogens, how many hydrogens are you going to add? Two. Two hydrogens. And then you are going to calculate the IHD for that. So let's say we are calculating the IHD for this thing. It is equal to the alkane. What alkane are we talking about? C5, H12. So C times 2, so 2 times 5 is 10 plus 2 is 12. This is the alkane. You subtract from that alkane the number of hydrogens you have after you manipulate it in whatever way. How many is that? 8. And this is equal to 4 divided by 2, which is 2. Yes? Possible structures for this are two double bonds. Uh, two, double bonds. two double bonds, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Two rings. Two rings. One ring, one, one double bond. Having two rings with five carbons is a problem, yes? No, having five rings with five carbons is a problem. No. You can have one ring and one double bond. Mm -hmm. And you can have a triple bond. bond. We're not going to try to do those, okay? Mm -hmm. That is for little babies. You're gonna do that in your in your house. When you have a problem, you come see me. Okay? What is the oxygen going to do to the number of hydrogens? Just keep it the same. It is not going to change. So whenever you see an oxygen, you do not touch this number. Right. And why is that? Let's compare it to CH4, yes? If we compare it to CH4 and we put an oxygen, how many hydrogens are still on that compound with the oxygen? It is four. Mm -hmm. So for any element that is divalent, okay, meaning for any element that makes two bonds, you are going to ignore. So you are going to forget that you have to change this number to anything. Okay? And that is for any element that is divalent. Which element is divalent from the periodic table? Oxygen. Oxygen. Sulfur. 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 Selenium. Mm. Yes, yeah, selenium. Okay. In general, okay, this yeah. is this is what happens in general. Mm -hmm. So the index of hydrogen deficient deficiency of this is uh, it's still twelve, yes? Yeah. Minus eight because I did not change this number. Divided by two, how many is that? Two. Two. You are going to come up with structures this time mm -hmm. in which you are going to use this oxygen. 
Now, whenever you have an oxygen, you will have structures that will have this type of functional group. Yes, a carbonyl. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can make that an aldehyde. Maybe you can make it a ketone. You can also make it an alcohol, the way we did it. So whenever you see oxygen, you will try to make them aldehyde, ketones, or alcohol. You can also try to make them ethers. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. We're not going to do those because that's a lot. I expect everybody here to be able to do some structures with those, okay? Mm -hmm. Just never try them. Actually, let's, you want to try a couple? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, Are you guys depressed? You don't want to make decisions? So what's the deal? <laughs> so let's say five, yes? One, two, three, four, and five. Is that five? Mm -hmm. That is five. That is one ring. That's one IHD. And then I'm going to do this. I made this. What functional group is this? This is a... Carbonyl. No, no. The carbonyl is not the functional group. The carbonyl oh, is ketone. a carbon ketone. Ketone. bonded. A ketone. That is a ketone. ketone. Okay? So this is a ketone. Does that have... How many hydrogens supposed to have? Eight. Eight. Does it have eight? Yeah. Two, four, six, eight. Very nice. What else can we do? Uh, that is an alcohol. Yes. Does that fulfill the the hydrogen requirement? Check. And you only have one. And you only have one. That's right, I have one ring. Mm -hmm. That means I need another hydrogen deficiency. What am I going to do? I'm not going to put it here because that would have been that. I'm going to put it somewhere else. You can put it there, and there are other places where you can put it. But one ring, one double bond, wherever you want to put it. That is another possible structure. How about this? One, two, three, four, five. Can I do that? Can I do this? Does that fulfill the requirement? Yes. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. That fulfills the requirement. <coughs> double bond there, double bond here, but you can count. How many hydrogens are here? Three. Three. One, two, three. Here? One. One. So three, four, five, none, none. Six, six, seven, eight. eight. Very nice. Can, can I make this an aldehyde somehow? <coughs> Let's draw them, five of them, yes, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So here, I'm going to <coughs> make an aldehyde, yes, one, two, three, four, five carbons. Mm -hmm. Does that fulfill the requirement? No, no it doesn't. It does not, no, it's missing an index of hydrogen deficiency. I am meaning I have to put a double bond somewhere. You can put one here, you can put one here, you can put one there. Let's put that one there. Is that recording that side of the board? Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And if you change this, the placement of the double bond, would that kind of the structure? Yes, it does. But so, of course, there is a lot of different structures for this, yes? So on the test, I could ask you, uh, give me an alcohol, give me a ketone, give me an aldehyde, give me a ring, give me no rings, that sort of stuff. Okay? okay? I won't ask you give me all. I may ask you give me five. Okay. If it's ten of them or if it's seven of them, I'll ask you to give me five. Okay? Because you can do a lot of things. And the use of this is later on. It's a little surprise I got for you. Okay? Mm -hmm. You are going to love it. Mm -hmm. Okay, is that good? Mm -hmm. All right, let's leave that there. And when you have a nitrogen, what do you do to you the subtract, number of hydrogen? You subtract the hydrogen. You subtract one. You subtract the hydrogen. They can all be the same, yes? Mm -hmm. So look here. Halogen, what did you do? Yeah. Add one. Oxygen, what did you do? Nothing. Nitrogen, what do you do? Subtract. Subtract one. That's right. But that is not what you're going to find in your book. Yeah. Because your book has this weird equation for people that are have PhDs in uh, <laughs> physics and math. Um, what? Yeah. 
apartment and one to the high school? Yes. It did say that. Why? I don't know. Why don't you ask the guy that wrote the book? <laughs> you can ask me why of this. You can ask him or why. But I'm going to tell you why, okay? Look, this is what happens. You have, and of course, in order for, for me to remember this, I don't remember this. this is, doesn't make a lot of sense to me unless I do this thing here. So what am I going to do? I am going to get the simplest of all the means. And I'm going to compare it to a similar carbon containing <coughs> compound. Yes? Look what happens. How many hydrogens are here? There are four hydrogens are here. But what has the nitrogen done? The nitrogen has replaced the hydrogen bond, yes? yes? But that nitrogen, when you replace it with the hydrogen bond, it also has a hydrogen by itself, yes? Mm -hmm. So, but then on top of it, it has another hydrogen it brings that are on the nitrogen. It changed the equation by how many? By one, yeah, four and five. Change the equation to how many hydrogens? Five hydrogens. So in order for me to go here, what do I have to do? Subtract. Subtract one. Okay. Yes. Yes. That's how I do it. They do it differently. I don't know. You end up with the same result. Yes, you end up with the same result. So, halogens. What do you do? Add one. Add one. Add one. Oxygen. What do you do? Don't do any. Nitrogen. What do you do? Subtract one. Subtract one. You like that? Plus one, zero, minus one. Perfect. Sounds good if you ask me. So this, you are going to calculate the IHDs for what? For? Eight. You subtract eight. one yeah. for H8. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Yes. So this is going to become how many? Well, we okay. have done them. Okay, that's why I gave you that. So they all look the same. Okay. How is that? It's good. Very good. I am not going to do this again, but you have to know it, okay? How is this going to how is this question going to be on the test? <coughs> when you learn enough of these reactions, we are going to do next. And we do alkynes. So we're doing in alkenes now. We're gonna do ten reactions. And then we're gonna do alkynes, we're gonna do another ten. I don't know how many or fifty. You're going to have 20 or 30 reactions to remember. Then I am going to give you a paragraph. In that paragraph, I am going to tell you that I have this unknown chemical that I want to find the structure of. And in there, I am going to give you that. I am going to give you the formula. And you have to know to calculate the IHD. Okay. After you calculate the IHD, I'm going to tell you the compound reacts with hydrogen and a palladium catalyst in a reaction called a hydrogenation. And it uses one H2 molecule. That means you have a double bond. But cycloalkanes do not use H2. So if I tell you it has one degree of hydrogen deficiency, and I tell you it uses one H2 molecule, how many double bonds does it have? One. One IHD. And I tell you, it uses one H2 molecule. How many double bonds does it have? One. one. Double bond. Yeah. But if I tell you, it has one IHD, but does not get reduced, does not use H2 molecules, how many double bonds does it have? None. 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 What is it? A ring. A ring. A ring. Okay. That's how we are going to do it, and it's going to get very pretty. You are going to like it. Like I said, just 30 reactions we have to memorize. Yeah. So sorry, the whole CH4, CH3, and H5, I didn't really, I was kind of copying down. I looked up and never done. No, you don't have to understand that, okay? All I need you to do is, that is the reasoning why this is the case. Okay, this is the explanation why. I'm not going to test you on why. Okay? I'm going to test you on you knowing that you have to do this when you have those. Okay? Don't worry, man. Nobody heard that. <laughs> 
<laughs> he chose the <laughs> chose the right time for everybody to hear. All right. Um, let's continue talking about our keys. Did we learn how to name some of these last time? Yep. Okay, we're done. With, we're done with that stuff. Okay. So let's say now we have this. I want you to draw. Uh, three penty. Pentine, yes? Mm -hmm. This is three pentine. One, two, three. Okay. Double bond? Yeah, double bond. Is that it? Yeah. Is that called three pentine? That's actually the two pentine. That's two pentine. No, two. That's two pentine. That's two pentine. So three, you have to make the line coming down in the middle and then the double bond with it, right? Mm -hmm. So, look. Three pentine. Yeah. One, two, three. Yes? Uh -huh. One, two, One two. and two. Is that three panting? That is not three panting. Three panting does not exist. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Only two panting. We did draw three panting, but it doesn't exist. That is two panting. Yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's why you didn't draw. Just kidding. Just kidding. Has showed you? Put it in the and you start the other way Don't say that. Don't say that. What happened? Don't say that. Don't say what? <laughs> say it. No. What did she say? No. No, I said that we, I don't think we're going to do good in this exam. <laughs> uh, you don't think well, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so what is that? Two pentings. Did any of you draw it this way? Yes. Did you draw it any other way? No. No? Now, a double bond is what type of molecular shape? No, not hybridization. Molecular shape. How does this look? It's trigonal plane. That's right. It has a hydrogen here, and it has a hydrogen here. It looks like this. That carbon looks trigonal planar. Mm -hmm. And planar means what? It is flat. flat. It is like this. So I like to say that a double bond has a top and a double bond has a bottom. bottom. As you draw it this way, of course, I can draw a double bond like this, right? And then it has a front and a back. Mm -hmm. But it's flat and it has a top and it has a bottom. Yes or no? Yes. Now, do you see a difference between this double bond and this double bond? Mm -hmm. A hydrogen here? No. And a hydrogen here. Give me the name of this. What's the name of this? Three pentine. Two pentine. Two pentine. Okay. This is two pentine, and this is? One, two, three. One, two. Still five carbons. It's still two pentine, yes? But can you see with your eyes, unless you can't see? You couldn't see for three weeks. Can you see now? Yes. <laughs> so this is different from this. This is called trans, and this is called cis. And as you learn in cyclohexane chair confirmation, cis means 
Same, same side. Same and side. trans means opposite, opposite, opposite side. side. Okay. Now here's how you determine the cis trans, and this is cis, cis trans isomers for alkenes. Okay. So cis, cis trans isomers for alkenes. You have a double bond. Whatever way you draw this double bond, if that you have to look at, let's say, you have to look at the carbons at the ends of that double bond, yes? You have to look at these two carbons. And you have to assign priority first to this carbon, and second priority to that carbon, okay? You have to assign priority based on the same that we had before for the RS system. Priority is based on what? Molecular weight, atomic, atomic, atomic number. Atomic okay, so you look at this carbon first. Which takes priority, the carbon or the hydrogen? The carbon takes priority, here it is. Which takes priority, and now you look at the other carbon. High priority, low priority. Now you look at this carbon. What takes priority, the CH3 or the H? The CH3. The CH3. <coughs> the two highest priority are on the what of this double bond? On the top, yes? They are on the same side of the double bond, so they call this cis for same side. Yes? Now, if it looked like this, You look at the priorities on each of these carbons. Here's one. Which is higher priority, this or this? CH3. CH3 higher priority. Which one is higher priority from these two, on the other side of the double bond? One is on the top, and the other one is on the bottom of that double bond. They are on opposite sides. So they are trans. How do you like that? It's easy, yes? Yes. Awesome. So which one is this one? Cis or trans? Trans. This is trans because here's a hydrogen, here is the CH3. And here is the hydrogen, and here it is. Whatever it is, but beats this one, OK? It's a CH2. We just looked at these two first. We don't have to continue looking at the chain. We looked at these two. They are on opposite sides, so they are trans. And how about this? That one, priority over the H. Uh -huh. And this one, that one, priority over the H. I do not, like I said, I do not have to continue looking at the chain. That is on the same size, that is cis. Now, this cis experience something called steric strain. You ever heard of that before? Of steric strain is because these two groups that are here are very close to each other. Mm -hmm. So the way we write the steric strain is like this. So if we have this, we say that this group and that group are in the vicinity of each other. They're on top of each other. This has steric strain. Because this has steric strain, does the trans have steric strain? No, no. no because they are opposite, opposite to each other. I thought it was just nice. Yeah, not as much, but, okay. <laughs> yes, so this has steric strain, while the trans has less steric strain. I mean, the hydrogen is going to have some, but since we don't have any other choice, yes, either cis or trans. This has it, the other one has less, or no steric strain. As a result, this is what, more or less stable than the trans? Less. This is less stable.
Now, in a combustion analysis, yes? Remember how we did this combustion analysis before? Which one would release more energy? The least or the most stable? The least stable. The one that would release the most energy is the one that is the least stable, which is cis. And of course, what you need to remember about this is like a little graph, yes? So I imagine this is enthalpy. Let's say this is called enthalpy, or the energy. And you have one here, and the other one is here. They both get to CO2, yes? CO2 and water is combustion. This one here would be the cis, and this one here would be the trans. Why is the trans lower in this energy graph? Because it is more stable. stable. So the difference in energy between here and here is a smaller number than the difference in energy between this and this. So this is a larger release of energy. Yes or no? Yes. But this release of energy is a negative value, okay? I don't want you to misunderstand this. So, in fact, it's like a smaller number, yes? Hello? Yes. yes. So, let's say, let's say this is, I mean, of course, let's say, let's say this is 3,000. What is that number? 2,000 something, okay? Yes? Okay. Unless, which one released more energy? This one, but this release is exothermic, it's a negative value. Mm -hmm kilojoules per mole. It's not 3,000, okay? So let's not write 3,000. <laughs> Alright. How do you like that? Well, most of the time, this is trans business. Wait. Wait? Did you say wait? Just for the graph. Most of the time, this cis trans is referring to double bonds with hydrogens on it. There is another system that chemists came up with only to stress you guys out, okay? They all got together and decided to come up with a system called the EZ system. Okay? And they are German words. Who knows German in here? You know German? No. <laughs> okay, I don't know German either, okay? You look it up if you want. E stands, what does Z look like or sound like? Z? Zero. Z. Z. Zero? No, it's Zero. Six, six, six. Zero. <laughs> okay, from cis and trans, okay? Oh. Z sounds like cis, yes? Yes. So this is cis. <laughs> 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 yeah, sure, but same still doesn't tell you what it, what, what side it is. Same one. Okay, good. So, Z is the same thing that we have been looking at so far that we have called cis, yes? And E is what we have been calling trans. It is same, but you don't spell same with a Z, yes? Unless you're German. <laughs> All right, whatever, guys. But the rules are the same, okay? So you tell me what this is. Z. No, 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 I don't, no, no, don't say it. <laughs> Write it down on your paper. Write it down on your paper. I'm going to bring a gun next time. <laughs> Water gun, okay? Water gun. <laughs> with cloths in it. Yeah, with concentrated sulfuric What is it, cis or trans? You can't tell. No? 
sense? What do you mean you can't tell? So you got two of the same group, yeah, are you? Okay, so you got to assign priority to this side, yes? Mm -hmm. You look at this carbon, this priority is CH3, and this priority is CH3. Mm -hmm. Can I assign priority on this side? No. No. So this does not have cis trans. That was a trick question. I maliciously try to hurt you. Okay? You will never get over that, you hear me? Oh, you're, that's a battle within yourself. And you. So you know it's for you. <laughs> All right. So, well, let's do another one, okay? You like that? Don't say it. Yeah, don't say it. Hold yourself. Resist. So you know what, why don't you name it? Say whether that is, what are we doing? What are we labeling these now? Easy. 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 That's right. Label it as easy. And use that as part of the name. So you put that stuff in the parentheses. Like you did before, yes? Did you say a bad word? Because the camera is right there. <laughs> no. You just, it was just a no. lip. So, we assign priority. Priority here is which one has higher priority? Bromine has a higher priority. And from here, this has a higher priority. Okay? I mean, of course, we only have to look here. So, this happens to be on the same side. So, we're going to call this Z. Yes or no? Z. And we're going to continue. Uh, how long is this chain here? One, two, three, four, yes? No. Oh, right. One, two, three, four, five. That's the longest chain. So this is going to be... Okay. This is complicated. So let's do one thing at a time, yes? Is it one, two, three? Or is it one, two? One, two. I start counting on this side. One, two. So this will be two, what? I want first the parent chain. To what? To pentene. The groups are on the second carbon. I have two bromo. And on the third carbon, I have three methyl. Which one goes first, the methyl or the bromo? The bromo. The bromo goes first because that's how they made the alphabet. Bromo first. So this is two bromo. What else? Three methyl. Two pentene. How do you like that? <coughs> Why don't you do draw the trans for that? Draw the trains. Okay. You looked at me weird as if you did not know what that meant. Good morning, my friends. You just woke up or something? No, I just came to work. Oh. You should stop working. You pay my bills. Here they have open spots at Lex. <laughs> I 
Yeah, it is on camera, but Lexus is like the rib place, right? They sell ribs there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what do we do if we want the other one of this? Uh, what do you want to change? You like the bromine for this one? Okay, you, you draw whatever you want as long as they are in different sides, yes? I change this one by popular demand. These are called the geometric isomers, yes? Yeah. Geometric isomers, that's what they're called. Is that it? Okay, fine. This is R or S? Is this R or S? E. Oh, okay. You okay? Of course I'm okay. Are you? Why did you say R or S? That's why I asked. Confused? I mean. R and S is for what, guys? Chiral centers, yes? What's this? E or Z? Z. Z. Highest priority from these two, the side of the dual bond. Mm -hmm. Highest priority from these two. The, the ring. one? The ring. The ring. The ring. Yeah. It's called the benzene, benzene. ring. Mm -hmm. Benzene. Okay, so that happens to be Z. And this is what? This or trans or E or Z? Thanks, please don't think out loud. You're messing up the other people's thoughts by interrupting them with your ideas. Not yours, okay? Is it none? No, it's not none. <laughs> so what is it? Guys, do we choose this side of the double bond, yes or no? Mm -hmm. Highest priority from these two, which one is it? Carbon. This, yes? yes. Mm -hmm. And the highest priority from this one or this one? What's the highest priority? This one. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. No. It is. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, no? Yeah, it is. CH2 yeah. and a CH3? Yeah, because... Oh. The last thing's gonna come down to the hydrogen, you got a carbon. So it's gonna be yeah. Wait. Yeah. Only one? Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 that's right. So that's right. right. Why are you looking that way? Because he was saying something. Oh, he was saying something. Oh. Okay, look, guys. CH3 and a CH2, CH2. You see? Yeah. This carbon has three hydrogens, while this one has only two hydrogens, and a carbon. 
Mm -hmm. So this one has, has a higher priority. priority. That one has a higher priority. This is? What do you mean? Eight. Sis. <laughs> what do you mean they're opposite of each other? They're on the same side. Turn your head this way. No, don't turn your head anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> this is this side, yes? That's the other side of the dough bar. Oh, okay. right. You wanted me to draw it like this? Yes. That's how you wanted me to draw it? That's wrong. <laughs> Okay, if you don't understand, ask, because I'm never going to explain you it again. compared the top of the ring to the CH3 and then the bottom of the ring to the eight. <coughs> I don't know what top and bottom of the ring you mean, but I compare whatever is on this carbon, which is that and that. Yeah. From these two, that CH2 has higher priority. Yeah. And I compare what's on this side. And the H and the CH2 has higher priority. The two highest priorities on this ring are on the same side, which is this side of the dough of arm. Before, I was drawing them like this, and apparently you got used to it. It's only because it's connected to a carbon, that's why? Like the other Yes, it's because the other one is connected to a carbon, yes. What's the confusion? Are you related to Confucius? <laughs> I'm going to try to trick you on the test. Oh, see. Malicious thing? Malicious So I expect it. Malicious thing? You didn't hear me. Oh, there is a video. Okay. Let me tell you. Uh, double bonds can have, do you see, how many carbon attachments does that double bond have? How many carbon attachments does that whole double bond have? Two. Maybe two. Four. On the double bond itself. Now how many carbons? Four. Three. How many attachments does the double bond have? Two. How many? Two. One attachment. One. Yeah. Okay. So we say that this double bond is mono-substituted. How many attachments does this double bond have? Two. Two. So we call it? Di. Di substituted. You don't count the hydrogens? No. You count the carbons only. So this double bond has a carbon there and a carbon here that is di substituted. How about this one? Two. Is this tri substituted? No. This is still di substituted. And the best of them all, which is? It's still disubstituted. <laughs> okay, we ran out of board. So we are going to do now. What's that? One carbon attachment, two carbons attachment, three carbons attachment. This is tri. Substituted. <laughs> What's that? Well, I'm impressed. You still believe this is try substitute? Yes. I'm impressed. Because when you see more than one carbon, you're like confused. You think it's more substitution because it has more carbons. No, it is one carbon directly attached to this, one carbon directly attached to that, and that, that is tri-substituted still. So the length of the carbon chains on it do, do not matter. What matters is the first attachment on it. Yeah. So that is tri-substituted, and this is Tetra substituted, yes? Tetra substituted means that this double bond has four carbon attachments on it or four substitution. Tetra 
substitute. As far as stability is concerned, which one is more stable? Tetra substituted is the most stable, and then tri substituted, and then di substituted, and then mono substituted, and then non substitution, ethene. So the more substitution you have on the double bond, the more stable the double bond is. That is something we are going to do in the future. We're going to do reactions in which the product is going to be the most substituted double bond, and the name for that will be SISA rule. Now don't worry, okay? You don't have to know yet. I'm just getting you wet on the deal. Do you guys know who SISA is? Vasily Sysa? Vasily? You guys don't know? You never saw Enemy at the Gates, a sniper movie? Where have you guys been? Have you seen it? Jude Law. No? Matt Harris. I know you haven't been studying for my class, so I thought you were watching movies. <laughs> This is 